Joining me now, my buddy, one of my, uh, he's just one of my favorites, Steve Dace. He obviously is a host of the great Steve Dace show, which you can find on The Blaze. He made that movie you should have seen by now, Nefarious, even though I'm still creeped out about it and I'm mad at Steve about that. Steve, <laughs> uh, okay, I, I'm not naive. I don't think we're going to have a French Revolution or something like that in mm -hmm. America tomorrow. But I do believe if this continues without end, 50 years from now, 60 years from now, who knows, at some point in time it will get ugly if this continues where the elites have no system of justice and only the peasants do. Just look at the events by of, the, of this morning, Jesse. By 10 a.m. Eastern this morning, the system had announced that Donald Trump is going to go on trial for his life in Miami with eight weeks notice. Now, you and I know they're going to continue that and delay that, but that's not the point. They haven't yet at the time you and I are, are discussing this. As of right now, Donald Trump is scheduled to go on trial for essentially the rest of his natural life on August the 18th. 10 minutes, maybe not even 10 minutes after they announced this, Jesse, the feds decided to drop on us the Hunter Biden a plea deal where he can actually, according to Sean Davis at the Federalist study this, Sean's a lawyer, he could actually still go and buy a gun, even though one of the things he pled guilty to is a gun charge. <laughs> you can't even make this up, okay? And, 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 and of course, in my opinion, and I have been warning about this this entire calendar year, the holy grail here for the other side is to charge Trump with some form of sedition for January 6th. And now that they've now that the feds have dealt with the Hunter Biden question in their minds, they've answered that objection. They've checked that box. They've got full political moorings now. It's open sea, open water to charge Trump in Washington, D.C. in front of that gulag that they call a jury pool there where hundreds of his nonviolent supporters have been indefinitely detained for going on two and a half years. And and that will that will now make him have to defend himself against not one, but two uh, Department of Justice uh, criminalities that would essentially make it impossible for him to ever become president, let alone uh, potentially live out any form of his life, uh, remainder of his life as a free man. And and our response is killer memes. And I and and uh, the reality to this, we got to have more of a response than we're, we're, the reason why the French Revolution appeared to work for a while is because the elites were largely godless didn't really have a, a higher ethic other than themselves. But in this case, Jesse, our elites are not godless. They just have a different God. This is demonic. The level of conviction here, the level of scheming and plotting here, this is a rival religion. And the idea of vo populi has no, no chance up against that. That's why I've been in favor of refighting the American revolution. You know, our rights come from God. The king is not God when he claims that he is. He doesn't have a divine right to rule over me. Governments are every bit as accountable to God as the people are. That's why we have government by the consent of the governed. But we are trying to fight, we're, we're trying to fight crazy with crazy. We're trying to fight secularism with its own, with our own secular messiahs against people who actually wrote the playbook on this. And I just don't think the current path we're on has much chance to succeed. That's why I'm very frustrated and and. Uh, persistent in trying to get this point across to my audience. Steve, what should we be doing? What should be happening right now to stop what you very clearly see coming, what I see coming, what everyone watching you and I, everyone who watches your show every day, they see this coming and they're frustrated because we seem to get it and they do not. What in your words should we be doing to stop something horrible? Because I don't want any of this stuff to come about. This is all awful. I agree. It's awful. I mean, dude, I, I am counting down the days until I get to sit in my man cave and watch Michigan uh, football. Okay. Do I, do I look like somebody that's ready to go fight a civil war and, and is anxious to do it? No, <laughs> I am not. And I'm even less anxious to make my son who actually is pretty cut and pretty fit and plays football at his school. I'm even less anxious to sentence him to it. But here's the reality of history. Elections and everything we do right now are only about power the acquisition of power and the wielding of it. It's not about sentiment. It's not about loyalty. It's not about that's my guy. It's not about talking points. None of that. We're up against real power. We have to achieve the acquisition of power and wield it. There are only two ways to do this. Uh, now we, we can do it peaceably with the system that our founders gave us, which is still very broken, but it is also still there in the best system in the world. 
or we can continue to try to fight real evil with killer memes and blogs and grift talking points. And to that end, we'll sentence our, we'll make some people really stinking rich in the interim, but our kids will be left to have to fight this the, the way you and I are trying to avoid. And so we need to understand this is about the acquisition of power. Do you know as much about your state legislator as you do your favorite pet, pet presidential candidate? Have you been to a school board meeting? Ever considered running? Um, are you willing, do you, do you demand Republicans do something other than just be better than Democrats? Do you want them to actually wield power but if you don't, the power will be wielded against you. And, and then on a very practical level where Trump, so I think we need a massive paradigm shift is what I'm trying to say. But on a practical level where this example is, Jesse, I'm going to say something that I don't think is going to be popular, but I think people need to hear it. I, I think we need to know for sure that Donald Trump will not cut a plea deal to avoid prison shortly before the next election. Because if you run out the timetables, Jesse, of all these legalities, it is likely that they would they would try to bring this to a head after he's already won the nomination, obviously, to jack the general election result. Are we sure? I, I, I love the fact he's the best pro-life president we've ever had. I think at worst, he's the second best foreign policy president we've had since Reagan. That being said, Jesse, he's had multiple wives multiple bankruptcies. And during COVID, when Fauci and Burks convinced him he was going to kill 2 million people if he didn't shut the country down, he handed them his presidency and never got it back. I, I think we need something. We need to have a conversation with this gentleman and ask him, are you in this all the way? Or are you going to cut a plea deal sometime in next September or October to stay out of prison that requires you to leave the race and we're left scrambling to come up with somebody, either your running mate or somebody else that people can galvanize behind with almost no time at all. Because if you don't think the forces we're up against will do things like this, then you weren't listening a moment ago when I told you they made Hunter Biden play, plead guilty to a gun charge that will still allow him to buy guns while they try to take away yours. Hell yeah, they'll do stuff like this. And so we need to know what's the true lay, level, the lay of the land and the level of commitment that the people were entrusting our hopes to, Jesse. Steve, okay, so we're, we're obviously not going to get that from him. That's just not something he's going to talk about. Shoot, nobody will probably ever even ask him the question in a way that he would answer. So what should we be preparing ourselves for mentally? And I say this as the 2024 election is coming. It looks like Donald Trump is currently the leader, at least according to the polls I see. It looks like the leading guy who's going to be the nominee is very likely or at least possibly going to be in prison. So 2024 is done? Is that, is that what I take from this? I think, I think you, have, you have two options. You have, you, one option is, uh, and, and if it wasn't frankly for Ron DeSantis and the, his possibilities and what we've seen in Florida, you'd only have one option, and it's the first one I'm going to list. I'm gonna list. Does, does Donald Trump have a plan for how to message his candidacy? Right now, there, in a poll of independents just came out 10 minutes ago. He's, him, and, him and Biden are combined at a net minus 71 with independents, largest voting bloc in the oh. country. N net minus 71 combined favorable. All right, we have lost independence the last three elections in a row. So does, does Trump and his team, have, do they have a plan to sympathetically market him to independence in order to, as, as a felon, as someone who's under house arrest? Have they thought of, do they have a campaign plan for this? Here's the thing, guys, if we don't have a plan and he doesn't, they're going to choose Samuel Alito and Clarence Thomas as successors, and that's the least of the terrible stuff they're going to do. They're going to go from castrating the kids to euthanizing them. We're going to go from guidance counselors saying, you know what, have you considered that maybe you're just not really a, a boy or a girl? To Have you considered that maybe it's, life is too tough for you and we can euthanize you and put you to sleep? This, this isn't going to stop itself. It, we're going to have to stop it. And so we need to find out, does he have a plan to be the champion all the way to the end? A plan how to message being in, under house arrest, to being a convicted felon, to being under multiple indictments, et cetera. If not, then I think you probably need to go to the guy in Florida and look at him and say, do you have a plan? Do you know, do you, are you more than a resume? Do you understand, are you ready for what they will throw at you? If we make you his replacement, they're going to come after you. And maybe you're more stable as a person, but that probably actually might make you even more of a target because you can actually execute an agenda. So what's your plan? These are the adult questions we have to ask. For too long, we've been led to believe that communism is a thing of the past. But the truth is, communism is alive. It's here, and it's infiltrating every aspect of American life. 
Introducing the Anti-Communist Manifesto by Jesse Kelly, the practical guide for patriots ready to defend our nation from its most dangerous enemy. Discover the shocking extent of communist infiltration in our education system, their alliance with American corporations, and the twisted truth behind environmentalism. This eye-opening book exposes the true face of communism and empowers you to fight back. Join the fight for freedom. Pre-order your copy of the Anti-Communist Manifesto today by going to jessikellybook.com.